Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Over the past years, the United States has reaped decades of wealth around the world with its first mover advantage in the chip field and a large number of technical patents. When Chinese companies tried to break into this field, which they once regarded as a comfort zone, various restrictive rules followed like bullets. The United States has tried to curb the development of China's chip industry through export controls, technology blockades, and other means, making it difficult for Chinese chip companies to move forward. In the field of chip manufacturing, the manufacturing processes of industry giants, such as TSMC and Samsung have basically reached the physical limit. ASML, as the world's leading lithography machine manufacturer, is unlikely to improve the accuracy of its EUV lithography machine. At present, Samsung and TSMC improve their processes more by modifying the gate morphology, that is, making a fuss about transistor technology. However, when the process comes to 3 nanometers and 2 nanometers, although chip research and development companies are trying to maintain Moore's law and claim that each generation of process can improve performance by about 30%, these are still largely at the level of PPT and design concepts, and the reality is quite different. Data provided by EDA giant Siemens shows that the chip tape-out success rate has dropped to a record low of 14%, a significant drop from 24% two years ago. This means that among 10 companies that conduct chip tape-out, only two can succeed at most, and the remaining eight will basically fail. Tape-out is like a life-and-death test for chip design. It refers to handing over the designed chip solution to the wafer foundry to produce samples to verify whether the design meets expectations. It is a key milestone in chip research and development. Once it fails, not only will the tens of millions of yuan of R&D costs invested in the early stage go down the drain, but the company may also miss the market opportunity. Why is there such a high tape-out failure rate? First of all, the complexity of chips is constantly increasing. With the development of technology, chips need to integrate more functions and transistors, and the design difficulty is increasing exponentially. In the past, chip design may only need to consider a few core modules, but now chips, especially mobile phone processors, artificial intelligence chips, etc., need to integrate multiple complex functional units such as CPU, GPU, NPU, and also consider power consumption, heat dissipation, performance balance and many other factors. This places extremely high demands on the capabilities of chip design engineers, and any small design error may lead to tape-out failure. Secondly, with the development of the industry, it is not ruled out that more and more companies may shorten the R&D cycle, and reduce investment in the design verification stage in pursuit of speed and cost-effectiveness. At the same time, some emerging chip design companies lack sufficient industry experience and find it difficult to deal with various potential problems when facing complex chip designs, which increases the probability of tape-out failure. More importantly, the impact of the process reaching the physical limit. As mentioned earlier, TSMC, and Samsung's manufacturing processes face epic difficulties for every 1 nanometer advance in the 3 nanometers and 2 nanometer stages. As the size of transistors continues to shrink, physical phenomena such as quantum tunneling effects begin to emerge, which will lead to an increase in the leakage rate of transistors and unstable performance. Even if the chip on the design drawing can theoretically achieve the expected function, in the actual manufacturing process, it is difficult to perfectly transform the design into a finished product due to process limitations. In other words, even if the drawings can be made, they may not be transformed into qualified products in foundries such as TSMC, which means that silicon-based chips are close to the ceiling at the technical level. However, the difficulties encountered by silicon-based chips have brought rare opportunities for domestic chips. On the one hand, domestic chips are developing towards 7 nanometers, 5 nanometers, and even more advanced chip processes. 
Although TSMC and Samsung have encountered bottlenecks in the most advanced 3 nanometers and 2 nanometers processes, China's chip companies have not stopped their pace of progress. They have been continuously investing in research and development, improving their own process level and gradually narrowing the gap with the international advanced level. On the other hand, silicon-based chips have hit the ceiling, while China has unique advantages in new technology fields such as carbon-based chips and optical silicon chips, and has achieved independent control of technology and has a large number of patent endorsements. Carbon-based chips use carbon nanotubes as materials and have advantages such as higher electron mobility, lower power consumption, and better high temperature resistance. Compared with silicon-based chips, carbon-based chips can theoretically break through the physical limits of silicon-based materials, providing a new direction for the development of the chip industry. China started early in the research and development of carbon-based chips, invested a lot of scientific research resources, and has achieved a series of important scientific research results. At present, some domestic scientific research institutions and enterprises have accumulated certain technical experience in the preparation process and device design of carbon-based chips, and some technologies have reached the international advanced level. Photonic silicon chips are new chips that combine photonic technology and silicon-based integrated circuit technology. They have the advantages of high speed, low power consumption, and high integration. They have broad application prospects in data centers, optical communications, and other fields. China has also conducted in-depth research in the field of optoelectronics technology, with a complete industrial chain and abundant talent reserves, which provides a solid foundation for the development of photonic silicon chips. At the same time, the ecosystem of the domestic chip industry is also constantly improving. From chip design, manufacturing, packaging and testing to equipment manufacturing, material supply and other links, a number of excellent companies have emerged. These companies have strengthened cooperation and formed a good industrial synergy effect. Although there is still a certain gap between the overall technical level of domestic chips and the international advanced level, China has a market, scientific researchers, and enterprises who dare to fight hard. I believe that in the near future, with the continuous breakthroughs in domestic chip technology and the improvement of the industrial ecology, China's chip industry will definitely be able to occupy a place in the global market and realize the transformation from made in China to created in China.